Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Populating Next Right Pointers in Each Node Part 2. In this question, we are given a binary tree and we need to populate the next pointer to point to the next right node. If there is no next right node, the next pointer should be set to null. Initially, all the next pointers are set to null. We will see the follow up questions later. Firstly, we will try to come up with a basic solution. Now, in the given example, as we can see that the next pointer of every node should point to the right neighbor. As we can see, the connections are breadth wise. We need to apply the level order traversal or BFS in order to achieve this result. So we'll directly jump on that and see how we can apply that logic. So we'll first check if the root is null, then we simply return null. In BFS, we need a queue. So we'll have a queue. We'll add the root node into the queue. We will loop till the queue is not empty. And we need to process the number of elements that are there in the queue. Till this point, uh, the BFS structure is the same. We will be taking a dummy node over here at the very start and point its next pointer to this node 2 and then to 3. This will make the loop easier to understand. So we'll have a dummy node with any value. Now we need to pop the element from the queue and update the next pointer of the dummy node to point to this node. And then move the dummy node to this 2 so that the next time if value comes in, the 2 should point to 3. Now we need to add the left and right pointer if they exist into the queue. So this will make all the next pointer point to the right neighbor and lastly we just need to return the root. So when we run this code, it gives proper result. Let's submit this. So it got submitted. The time and space complexity for this approach is O of n as we are using a queue to hold all the elements. Now let's see what is the follow up problem given. The follow up problem states that we need to use only constant space and the second point states that we can use a recursive approach also and we can assume that in the recursive approach the implicit stack space won't be counted as an extra space for this problem. We won't be using a recursive approach, we will see how iteratively we can solve this problem without using any extra space. So we won't be using any queue and anything. So let's first understand the basic idea how to solve this problem without using any extra space. Suppose the given tree to us is this. As we know the first root node will have the next pointer pointing to null. That will always be null. So what we need to do is. We need to have a dummy node temp like we had previously and we need to do that level order traversal. We will be using the next pointer in order to jump from one node to other breadth wise. If we see that we have this root node, so the left pointer exists. So what we need to do is we need to update the next of the temp to the second node to the left of the root. And similarly, as the right also exists, we will update the temp to point to the three and update temp to this place. We are doing the same what we did in the previous approach and as the next of three will default point to null, we will stop here. As the next pointer of one was null, we are sure that we have in turn traversed the level, second level. So we will move to two. When we move to this two node, that is the left pointer, we will again create a new dummy node temp which will next point to the left of the root node and similar to what we did in this we will reach 5. Once we reach 5 we need to attach its next pointer to the 7 and how we can do that is as we know we are on this pointer 2. So in this level if the next of 2 exist then we need to jump onto it that is 3. So we will jump on 3 and as the left pointer of 3 doesn't exist, we need to update the temp.next 
to its right and so the pointer is updated the next of seven will by default be null so we'll just return the root i hope this made sense to you we will see it more clearly while we code this so let's see how we will code this approach so let's remove this code we'll take a head variable which we will be updating heavily root now while this head is not null we need to loop and as previously we took a dummy node we'll still take a dummy node over here now we need to take a reference of this dummy node and we'll take a temp that we discussed we need to again loop till the head is not null now this while loop takes care of one level and for every level we need to do the same so we are having two while loops we can do this without using two while loops and only one while loop but that makes it a little complex so we are not uh, discussing that right now so in this head what we need to do is we need to check if the head dot left is not null that means the left exist in that case we need to update the temp dot next to head dot left and move this temp to point to the next pointer similarly if the head dot right is not null we do the same pointing the temp dot next to head dot right and moving the temp the next pointer now for this level we will do that till the head is not null that means till we reach a node where there is no next value that means we need to update the head to head dot next now when this level that is 2 3 null is completed we will be having a dummy node over here which will be pointing this to so we need the next level to be started from 2 all the way to 3 updating all the next pointer of its children so what head should hold now will be dummy dot next if you see here this is dummy node the temp is over here and the dummy dot next is 2 so as we need to move to this node 2 we need to update the head to dummy dot next so we update the head to dummy dot next this will work Let's run this code. So it is running successfully. Let's submit this. So the code got submitted successfully. The time complexity of this algorithm is O of n while the space complexity is O of 1 as we are not using any extra space. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.